Hey y'all, welcome back to my cello unique tarot. This is going to be a next 48 for the sign of Gemini, April 15th to the 16th. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up as well. If you're looking for a personal reading, that information is in the description box. And if you would like to donate to my channel, how you can do that is in the description box as well. So let's move forward with my Gemini's please. Gemini, the flighty fleety one. Okay, that's what I need to call y'all ass. Gemini, what's up with my Geminians, please? From April 15th to the 16th. For my Geminis, what's up? What's up, Gemini? What's up? What's going on with my Gemini spirit, guys, angels, universe? What's going on with my Geminis? April. 15th to the 16th. Gemini's, please. What's going on with my Gemini's? Okay. Yeah, that's way too many. Gemini's, what's up with my Geminians? Yeah, here we go. Six of Pentacles could be dealing with an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's going on with my Gemini's, please? <clears throat> okay. These wanted to come out. Okay. So we have the Ace of Cups. We have the Magician here. We have the Three of Wands and the Four of Wands. Could be dealing with it. Gemini, this is your energy with the Magician. We have the Six of Swords here. Okay. Could be dealing with a fire sign too, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Gemini, we have the King of Swords. That's your energy. Gemini, what's going on with my Geminis, please? We have the Emperor. Okay. What's going on with my Geminis? April 15th to the 16th. And we have one more card here. We have the um, Ten of Swords. And then we have the two of wands. All right. So it's some kind of decision that needs to be made here. Possibly. Or oh, you've made a decision here, Gemini. Okay. But you could be dealing with an Aries as well with the emperor. A Gemini like yourself with the magician. Okay. But it looks like here... Um, there's a new love here with the Ace of Cups, okay? Somebody that you want to give to. I'm also hearing you're worried about somebody being with someone else here. This could be somebody at a distance or online, okay? But you're yearning and missing this person. You want to be with this person here. You want to take action with the Magician card. This person could have also uh, moved away from you. There was an end here. Somebody could have also relocated, moved homes with the Four of Wands and the Six of Swords. Okay. But somebody, this is a leader, a father figure or a leader. The head of a household is the emperor and the ten of swords. But yeah, there was some kind of betrayal here. There's definitely a, another couple here. We, we see two women in this picture and then two couples here. So you, you, you or somebody else here, because the Ten of Swords is your energy, Gemini. You could have hurt someone or betrayed someone with someone else here. And this person moved away from you, maybe even located, maybe even moved out of the home. Or they could have relocated and moved out of their home and moved away. You may be wondering where this person moved to or where they're at is what I'm hearing. But you want to communicate with this person. You want to take action toward this person. You may even travel to go see this person to come to their home. I'm here. You may even want to move in with this person. You could be moving in with this person or thinking about it or wanting to. But there could also been an ending to a marriage here. Somebody could be wanting to end a marriage here to go towards something new. And somebody could be wanting to communicate that with the King of Swords. That's honest, truthful, upfront communication. 
Somebody may want to travel towards you and tell you this. They've made a decision that they choose you with the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is usually a, a good decision here. So it could be you or the other person, Gemini, but somebody's decided that they want this new love. They find this person to be the one for them with the Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands. They yearn for this person. They want to move in with this person. They want to give to this person with the Six of Pentacles. Okay. They're manifesting this connection with this person very, very much, okay? And they're going to have to leave someone behind here, Ten of Swords. All right, so let's see, let's clarify, let's see what else comes out here. What is the messages, please, for my Gemini's April 15th and 16th? Okay, what's the Six of Pentacles? Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Somebody could be wanting to go towards this other woman, this Queen of Wands. Because this King of Swords could very much be the Queen of Swords. So somebody is wanting to end something to move towards someone else here. Yeah, and fast and rapidly with the Eight of Wands and the Judgment and the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Yes. Definitely um, another relationship going on here. Definitely was a portrayal about another relationship for sure. So what is the Six of Pentacles for my Geminis? Six of Pentacles, please, for my Geminis. We have the yeah Nine of Swords very much in your head. This is you, Gemini. In your head. Fucked up, sad, okay? You may be worrying about somebody else giving to this person that you want to be with. All right, some of you could have a black cat, but yeah, this pre-empress energy, the nine of pentacles, you're very much uh, depressed here. Very much losing sleep over the fact that somebody, this this pre-empress energy, okay, could be given to someone else or somebody else could be given to her. Or you could be in your head about how to give something to her. You may want to gift her with something. And you're not sure how to do it. You're doing a lot of thinking about this person, though. To the point where you don't even get sleep. What's the Ace of Cups? You lay in the bed at night imagining laying with this person. You miss this person. Is what I'm getting. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Okay, you want this person's forgiveness? Yes, the Ace of Wands. What is the... What is the Ace of Cups? What is the Ace of Cups here? We have the Two of Wands. Could be a fire sign. Yeah, you're making a decision that, yeah, Eight of Wands, you want to move towards this person quickly. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, that you want to move toward. You've made a decision. You've been in your head about it long enough, or you're tired of being in your head. Okay, you're tired of stressing out. All right, if you had a decision to make before, yeah, Two of Cups, you're in love with this person. If you had a decision to make before, you've made a decision now. You don't want to see this person with anyone else, and you want to move towards them. What is the magician for my Gemini? What is the magician? What is the magician? Yep. Yep, we have the King of Cups and the... So the Knight of Cups is going... From the Knight of Cups to the King of Cups. Okay? Deep emotional love here. So you, you want to grow up. You want to go from a knight because you don't nobody do no knights. You know what I'm saying? To a king. Yeah. So you went from the Page of Cups to the Knight of Cups. Somebody that said, tells you what you want to hear. Gives broken promises and all that to the Knight of Cups. You know, somebody that can be flighty, in and out, charming. They'll tell you what you want to hear to the King of Cups. So that's good. All right. You wanted to take action toward this person. And you and you obviously know that you, somebody here has grown up. Okay. They know that they need to grow up or they have grown up here. And that's clear from the page to the knight to the king of cups. And this could be somebody from your past year. Here you go again, Gemini, with the knight of swords. You want to rush in toward this person from your past. Okay. With some kind of truth with the queen of swords. All right, you want to speak honest, straightforward truth here and be honest with someone. And I'm pretty sure that they will respect that, Gemini. Or this could be somebody that's wanting to come towards you. 
and say that. Okay. Yeah, you have a lot of passion for this person with the King of Wands. What is the Three of Wands for my Gemini? What is the Three of Wands for my Gemini? Okay. Yeah, here we go. The Page of Cups. All right. So you want to message this person. Or you have a message or you want to send them a message. Okay, so we're going from that King right here. Knight to pay attention. Yeah, you really want to message this person. Or you're worried about this person being with someone else here. You have a Wheel of Fortune. It's like what goes around comes around with the Wheel of Fortune. At first, this person could have been very much into you, Gemini. And now it's like this person has turned their back on the situation. And now you're very much into them. You want to send a message to this person. You you want to um you want to email this person or text them or whatever. But this person has blocked you with the seven of wands, or you just if they haven't blocked you, you just don't know what to say. You're writing the text. You're erasing it. You're writing the text again. Then you're erasing it. You don't know what to say. You want to ask this person out on a date. You don't know if they're gonna reject you. They're gonna you know what I'm saying? Because this person has walked away from you. Period. What's the four of wands? For my Gemini's, the Four of Wands. Yeah, the Two of Pentacles. You're back and forth about if you want this commitment or not. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Because you could be dealing with someone else here. Okay, yeah, the Knight of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles. Somebody here wants to be single. They don't want this person to get away that they have this deep love for. But they, they also want to be single here. Okay. Or I feel like the tables are turned. One person wants a commitment now and the other person kind of wants to be single. They kind of want to do them or they could be seeing someone else now. Okay? They could be interested in someone else. I feel like somebody's confused. Yeah, Seven of Swords because they were a liar and a cheat. I feel, yeah, Three of Cups had them in a third party situation. The Three of Cups is, a, is always a third party situation. Okay, somebody was goddamn lying, cheating, juggling. And I feel like somebody likes to do that with the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius is Gemini's opposite sign. So somebody has a tendency to do this, to juggle and have third parties and be in and out. Okay. But with the Ace of Wands and the Chariot and the Three of Cups, Nine of Cups, somebody definitely... Somebody definitely has um, a lot of emotions for somebody here. Even if they're juggling, it's one specific person that they have a lot of love for and that they want to offer this huge cup of love to with the Ace of Cups. And they've made a decision on that, but I don't know if they're going to act on it. What's the Six of Swords? Yeah, the Five of Cups. This person is very, very um, nostalgic and sad about, about something. They feel like... They just, they're depressed, very much down or disappointed, and they want to move towards somebody. They may be sad because they have to move on from somebody to go towards another person that they feel a deeper connection towards. Yeah. The chariot here and the ace of wands, somebody wants to move, want, somebody wants to move on towards this other, this other person, but they're going to have to leave someone behind here. They're going to have to speak a truth and break someone's heart. In order to go where they want to go and where they feel happier or where they feel a, a stronger connection towards, okay? But somebody needs to be honest. They need to, they need to be honest and truthful with the Ace of Swords about how they feel, okay? And not lie with the Seven of Swords and cheat. And even if it breaks somebody's heart, they still have to be honest and be truthful. If you want to move forward with the Six of Swords and the Chariot, that's moving on towards something new. Ace of Wands. Okay? You you are scared of disappointing or hurting this person with the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords. But you're going to hurt someone more by lying, playing them, and staying in something you don't want to be in. And that could be you or the other person. You're hurting both of you by staying in something you do not want to be in because you're scared of hurting someone. You hurt a person more and you build a bad karma for yourself when you when you lie or you don't be honest. OK, but I feel like this person is a narcissist. 
That's what I just heard with the emperor. This person wants to be in control. They want to they want to be able to have somebody else and also have this person in case something don't work out. They can fall back on this person because I feel one person strokes somebody's ego and makes them feel good. <clears throat> makes them feel good. Allows, oh, they don't want me to tell this. They don't want me to be saying this. Makes them feel good. Allows them to do what they want to do while the other person is sitting up pretty like you got me fucked up. I'm not going for that. It ain't going to be like that and it ain't rocking like that. I don't care what you thought or heard. You better think again. And you better open your fucking ears wider. Because you didn't hear correctly. Or something. Alright. So this, this person wants to sit around and play. Yeah. And, and, and have their cake and eat it too. And, and do this and that. Just because they want to be in control. It's not going to work. And somebody's building up some real karma for themselves. Not being honest. I cannot stand a man who cannot be, yeah, somebody's a narcissist, six of wands, okay, somebody that likes a lot of attention, somebody likes to be in control, somebody that likes to win at all costs, okay, they like to be celebrated and they like to be seen by everybody, but they're really insecure on the inside, this is reminding me of, um, of, um, another person reading, Taurus, Okay. All right. Somebody here is full of shit. And that's just that on that. What's the king of swords here? What's the king of swords here for? Yeah, the seven of wands. Okay. Yeah, this person got their guard up. This person is like, no. Somebody got their sword out. They're they protecting themselves. Could be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That is like not dealing with it. You're going to come correct to this person. Yeah. And that's and are you gonna are you gonna fall back? What's the emperor? What's the emperor here for? For my Gemini's? What's the emperor? Yeah, we have the five of wands. This emperor is very jealous and, and, and worried about if this person is with someone else here. It could also this could also be a father, it could be arguments going on in a home here. With this Queen of Cups energy, this water energy, okay, that they're with, there's arguments because this this water sign probably knows this this masculine wants to be somewhere else. She knows this shit. Yeah, she's not stupid. And this this masculine is not being honest about it. And there and there we go. The Queen of Swords to the King of Swords. So there's a marriage, there's arguing and fighting. Two people are cold towards each other. The passion is there. And this person sees it somewhere else with somebody else, okay, that they want to go toward. And this person needs to speak up and tell the truth. That's what needs to happen. Ten of swords. Ten of swords. What is this ten of swords for my Gemini? Yeah, the devil. This person has a straight, could be a Capricorn, and there goes that Queen of Wands. So this person is very much, yeah, the judgment is very, very much attracted to this Queen of Wands energy. But they could be, they could be dealing with the Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups energy at home. Somebody that they're married to or just in a higher level of commitment. It don't have to be marriage. Two people that's been together a long time. But with this Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands, somebody has passion for this other woman they want to be with. They're obsessed with them. But they betrayed them over and over again. They could have lied about being in a relationship with someone else. Now they want to go reconcile with the judgment with this person. And I feel like somebody's also judgment is coming down on somebody about their behavior and how they did shit. Now somebody want to rush into this past person, this stable person, okay, and work things out and reconcile and balance the scales, okay? But somebody here is already a liar. They don't, they don't keep it 100. All right, but they want to come in and, and, and be with you, but I feel like they, they want to juggle. They want to have their cake and eat it too. I don't know if this person is going to continue to be completely honest with you here, uh, Gemini, or this could be you. Let me see. Yeah, somebody is um, disappointed. They are sad with the five of cups. Okay. But they're hurt that they can't be with this other woman they feel this attraction to with the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. There's a lot of Aces here. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, and what else? 
Ace of Wands. She has too many wands, um, aces here. That's something new. Somebody is wanting to do something new and end something somewhere else. Tell me a little bit. Let's make sure this is the same thing. Tell me a little bit about this Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. With the Five of Wands. What's the Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Five of Wands? Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Five of Wands, please. Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Five of Wands. What's coming up? We got the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Damn, we have the world. Yeah, so I feel like um, with these cards coming out, okay, this was a, somebody they had a family with with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like these, this is um, somebody that wants to end that situation with this person. Four of Pentacles, they no longer want to hold on to it with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. The world is ending, so they want to end it, and then the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. They no longer want to work on it, work with this person or something. Okay, they had to have money ties together, but they no longer want to be involved in that. Then we have the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to be single from this person that they're with to move towards this other person. But somebody need to speak up and tell the fucking truth, period. Say how you feel. Be a grown man or woman and say what's up. Stop playing games. So those are the messages I have for you, Gemini. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the post notification so you do not miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in the next one.